Hello, everybody. Frank C. here, SpotOnSportsPicks.com. How's everybody doing this morning? It's Thursday, November 28th. Uh, Thanksgiving. I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Um, hopefully, you guys are going to spend time with your family today. Um, you know, it's always great eating that turkey and uh, sitting there after and watching all the football games. Uh, I can remember all that stuff. My mother's lasagna. Oh, my God. It was all awesome. But anyways, just want to wish everybody a happy Turkey Day. Always give thanks, of course. We woke up today. Today's a great day. Um, you know, always think about, you know, the less fortunate this time of year. You want to, you know, help people out when you can. Um, just like my boy, Dougie B. I want to give a shout out to my boy, Dougie B. If everybody saw the uh, front page of the Gazette this morning, any local people here. Um, just, it's good to give. And this is the time of year that everybody thinks about it, but it's always good to give all year long. So people that are less fortunate, you know, you hit a few games, you win a few dollars, you know, give to your local, uh, you know, to your local kitchen or, or, or that type of thing for uh, people that are less fortunate because it's cold out there and the homeless and everything like that. It's just, it's just brutal, especially the veterans out there. Um, you know, it, this time of year, it's always great to help somebody out. So, again, uh, that's what that's what we're thinking about today. We're giving thanks. And uh, let's get into some football. Uh, yesterday, well, we on the free side, we gave out uh, the Kings. They ended up covering. But on the pay side, we had the Lakers and the Clippers. And both won the game, but they both couldn't cover. So, Anyways, we want to get into the real real stuff. We want to get into the NFL. And uh, today we got three NFL games. I'm going to look at one of them. Um, and we got other contests going on too. I'm going to have something out on the pay side. Uh, but I want to talk about the, uh, the Bears and the Lions. Um, this is uh, the first game that's on tap for today. Uh Let's see here. Let me um, let me just check one thing out here. The twelve thirty game, the Bears and the Lions. The line right now is the uh, the Bears are five and a half, um, and the totals a, a, a whopping thirty seven. <laughs> well, I got a little I got a little surprise here. I did a little uh, research here this morning, and um, obviously you know everything's leading towards the Bears. Uh, the Lions are three and seven. The Bears are five and six. They're still, you know, in the playoff hunt. Uh, but the the Lions have a quarterback issue. Obviously, Stafford's going to be out. Uh, their backup Driscoll is out. They're starting a young man by the name of David Blau. That would be B L O U G H. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Nobody really knows too much about him. And um, I did a little research this morning. And Mr. David Blau, he was the quarterback for the Purdue Boilermakers when he was in college. Um, he was he, he quarterback there from 2015 to 2018. So he was a four-year starter. Um, I don't know if you, you know a guy named Drew Brees, but he, uh, he also started at Purdue when he was in college. So this just gentleman, David Blau, he set records in his four years at Purdue. He was uh, top five in career attempts, completions, yards, touchdowns, and completion percentage. And I think we all know who was probably number one in most of those categories. That was Drew Brees. So I think he's keeping pretty decent company. Um, so... He and what happened was how he got he wasn't drafted, he was an undrafted uh, free agent who signed with the Cleveland Browns, and um, he played a couple of preseason games, and actually he played against Detroit in the preseason, and Detroit saw him play, and Cleveland had let him go, and Detroit took well actually they traded for him I guess a couple of seventh round picks or something like that and Detroit took a shot with him 
And um, and here he is starting on Thanksgiving. It's all about opportunities in the NFL. It's not about, you know, coming out of the great quarterback colleges or, or whatever. Obviously, look at, uh, you know, uh, you know, look at uh, Tom Brady. I mean, come on. So, I mean, I'm not saying this guy's Tom Brady. I'm not saying this guy's Drew Brees. And I'm not even saying he's going to win. I'm just saying that sometimes magical things happen on Thanksgiving. I don't know, the years ago when I was a kid, forget the guy's name, he was a quarterback, Clint Longley. He was a quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. He played one game. It was Thanksgiving against the Washington Redskins. And he blew him out. So, I mean, everything points to the Bears. But the Bears, they're, they're just, their offense is inept. I mean, Mitchell Trzymski is inept. I think, my opinion here is I think the Detroit Lions will rally around this kid. And I think they can score some points with this kid. And <laughs> the Bears are so inept. I mean, I could be 100% wrong here. But if I was going to take a shot, I would bet the Lions here plus the five and a half. And enjoy the game. I'm not saying make a major move. I'm saying bet a few dollars on this game. I like the Lions here. I really do. I like betting against the Bears. Let me put it that way. The Bears are just inept. I just really don't have any fear of the Bears. So, that's my free pick on this beautiful Thanksgiving. And uh, everybody have a great day. I hope we all don't get too big. And uh, enjoy your family. Very important. Family is very important. And again, everybody have a great day. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Give thanks. Cash them tickets. I'm going to go do that right now. I'm going right around the corner and cashing them tickets. Goodbye, everybody.